Hi guys, here we've got a Sanyo M249F, which I've been looking at online. To show you the original listing here, it's a radio cassette, 1978, um, untested, according to the seller. And to show you through some of the images here, and this is the description. Um, it's a Sanyo 2409F. Good condition, untested, as the seller doesn't have the uh, power supply. So I've made him an offer, £5, and he sent a counter offer back as £9.99 plus five ninety five postage. So I'll accept that and pay for it. And about five days later, the items arrived. You can see it here, I'm just unpacking it. That's the radio cassette there. And as listed, just give it a close look. It is a tiny unit, tidy unit. So we've got the top here. Cassette buttons, got FM, AM, and the tape switch and then you've got tone and volume so if you have a look at the back here also um, stated by the seller that um, there's been a battery leak in the battery compartment you can see here it's all rust where the battery's been leak left in and leaking so I will have to have a look at that see a lot of rust there Along the contacts. But in the meantime, let me just put this cover back on. I'm going to check the function. Um, it's got a square socket on this, whereas they're normally the shape of this plug here on the left. However, if you force it in, it will still fit into the socket, like so. And um, I've got it switched on, and uh, radio seems to work, okay. As well as the um, tone and the volume, tuning's okay. So, have a look at the cassettes. Does that show you inside here? If you press play, the take a wheel does turn on the left hand side there. However, if you press rewind, I think there's a problem with the belt because nothing's moving and as you can see it's intermittent. You can actually turn it with your finger, stop it and start it. It's not supposed to be like that obviously. So there's obviously a problem inside. More like this stretch or perished belt. So what I'm going to do is dismount the unit lively. You can see me just taking the back cover off here. I'm going to have to unhook some of these wires first. So, this is the uh, main motor um, and the capstan. As you can see here, the belt's perished, it's stretched or worn out. You can see there, that's why it's slipping. Well, that belt will need to be replaced so it's just a matter of undoing this uh, cap stand retainer bracket 
on the back here. On the other side, I just slacken that one off or remove it completely. And then just move this bracket out of the way. And I should be able to just hook the belt off. And that's the old belt removed. And I've got a se selection of belts. And I found one that looks like a decent size, so I'll just fit that on, fit that in place. Let's fit the new belt on there. I'll just test that manually. See, it's a lot better there. A little bit twisted but it will untwist itself so it's just a matter of putting the uh, caps down retaining bracket back over and just tightening that, that back down and the other, the other screw That seems good. I'll just um, plug the power in and test it. And it's running fine, but there's another belt on the here. Can you see waving around? Uh, that's also perished, that will need replacing as well. So I'll have to remove the capstan retainer once again. Uh, I've got to remove the retainer for the capstan. The cassette door just unclips like so once it's open and then there's a little retainer little plastic retainer for the capstan let's get a close up here and show it you little, little retainer there just pull that off keep it to one side because it's going to be put back on i'll just take that little capstan retainer clip off and as before i've got to remove the bracket and I had to lift up the PCB as well to gain access to the capstan because I've got to remove it. And here you can see me just removing the capstan. Bit of a tight fit in there, but that's a capstan there. And there's a belt inside here which is perished, you can see it. It's got a triangular shape, obviously not been used in a few years. There's a belt there, that's your belt. That's your belt removed. And I found a replacement, which I'm just going to fit here. It's a bit tricky this one because this belt fits around two rollers and the capstan. So I'll put the belt in place around the two rollers. Now for the tricky bit. Capstan, the belt's got to go into this groove here. And there's a belt that goes on top, obviously. A bit tricky, hard to film. And you can see do the best I can to show you. I'm try, just trying to fit the belt. I've got it around the two pulleys, the two white pulleys. Now I've just got to fit it around the, um, the groove of this capstan, the bottom groove. Use a bit of tweezers to help. Just trying to get you the best camera ag angle I can just to show you what I'm doing. I've got to hook the belt around this pulley and I've got it uh, successfully hooked on there so it's just a matter of pushing it home let me just testing it there just testing it's connected all the pulleys are turning so I'll just push it home there I'm just testing it manually you can see it's turning the wheels are turning as well 
So I'm just going to put this uh, main drive motor belt back on. Now I've got to test the unit and um, you can see here, put the power supply in. You can see both belts are running fine now. And that seems to be working fine. No more verb. I'll slate the belts. So, back to this section where uh, the battery is leaked at some stage, as stated by the previous owner. That's why it's all rusty in here because uh, someone's left the batteries in and they've leaked. So, what I've got to do is remove all this wiring from the back cover. Lively. And then all I'm going to do now is uh, cut this wiring negative and a positive for the uh, battery. Pair of snips, but there you go. And then uh, now that I've got the wires out of the way, I'm just going to push the contacts out, the spring. Plus and the minus connectors, there they are, there's two at each end. And then I've got them out. Get me a sander on it, sand all that rust away. And then I'm just gonna spray it with some WD-40. Here you can see the spring, just get a little close up there. For one of the springs, just sanding it down so that it can make contact. And then I'm just going to clean up the rest with WD-40 and obviously I've got to clean up the battery housing as well as you can see here just put it in the bucket giving it a scrub and I've got it nice and clean there so it's just a matter of putting the springs and the contacts back in um, like I said there's one at each end I'll just pull that up let's fully locate the spring and this is the plus battery terminal I'm just re reinserting here just pushes in a little bit fiddly And there you can see both in one side. So all I've got to do is um, just solder the wire back on. That's the red one. Just going to do solder the blue one back on also. And then the other side, and then as you can see, I've already started to tuck the wiring back into its loom. It's a uh, cable tidies. Now that that's done, just got to put the transformer back in. It's only one screw holding it in. Let's fast forward this section for you. A bit long. So pretty much complete now. Just um, gonna put the back cover on and tighten the screws. Put screws back in. Screw the unit back together. And you can see it's all done now. Get a little close, probably give it a bit of a clean also. Let's 
that's what the back looks like. So I bought some batteries. So yeah, look, show you uh, clean up inside the battery housing. I bought some batteries to test it. It takes five uh, batteries, big ones, HP sevens I think they are. SP7. Okay, so let me just put the batteries in here. All D size batteries. Also, like I did about Arteta last year. And when we're doing good, I'm saying it's great to be an Arsenal fan, but I wouldn't get too carried away because of our, our depth squad, the depth in our squad. We've got quality, but keeping Partey fit, mm. keeping Jesus fit, keeping key, key players fit. One of the big things that I can play. And I'll just flick over to the tape. Look, set in, press play. I think there's tapes at the end, so I'll just turn it over. And that pretty much concludes. Thanks for watching once again, and please subscribe.